Hi, I'm Alex, and today I'll be discussing with you how to set up and use ARC scripts and notebooks on your computer. So before moving forward, to run any commands mentioned in this presentation, you'll need to use Terminal for Mac or Command Prompt for Windows. Both of these can be found in your OS's search bar. And you'll also want to refer to our ARC Analysis repository readme linked here to guide you through the setup process. This readme also provides the installation links to any external applications needed, as well as info about additional configuration parameters beyond the scope of this presentation. So first you'll want to install Git, the tracking system for our code base. Navigate to the Git download page linked in the Arc Analysis readme, download your OSS installer, and use all the installation defaults. Then to verify proper installation, run the git command, and if you get a usage menu like this, you're good to go. The next step is cloning the Arc Analysis repo to your computer, which you can do using the git clone command shown above. Then make sure your terminal or command prompt's current directory is set to Arc Analysis by using the cd arc analysis command. To verify that arc analysis is set up properly, run the ls command, or dir for Windows, to see that you have the correct files and directories. Next, you want to install Docker, which provides a container allowing you to run arc scripts with all the necessary dependencies already pre-installed. To do this, go to the Docker install hub, again linked in the Arc Analysis readme, download your OS's installer, and use all the installation defaults. To verify Docker is installed, you'll want to look for this status symbol, which looks like a whale with a bunch of boxes on top. If all the boxes are static, you're good to go. Now before moving forward, I want to mention a few additional setup instructions Windows users will need to follow. In order to use Linux-based commands to run our scripts, you'll need to install Windows Subsystem for Linux using WSL dash dash install as shown above. And afterward, make sure the default version is set to version 2 by running WSL dash dash set default version 2, as shown below. Afterward, download the Linux kernel package update. These are linked on both the Docker and the WSL setup pages for Windows. Then go to the Microsoft Store and download Ubuntu 20.04. Open up this application and in its command prompt, enter a username and password. This doesn't have to match your Windows credentials. Afterward, update your Linux packages by running first WSL sudo apt-get update as shown above, followed by WSL sudo apt-get upgrade as shown below. Then inside Arc Analysis, download the DOS2 Unix converter by using WSL sudo apt-get install dossi unix and then run it through both the start docker.sh and update notebooks.sh scripts as such. After all this is set up, you can now run the notebooks in Docker. To run the notebook startup script, use dot slash start underscore docker.sh for Mac or bash start underscore docker dot sh for Windows. Note that when running this for the first time, it will take a while to set up. Make sure to copy the last line of output, which is a link to put in your browser. And when you do so, you should get a window that looks like this. Before running any notebook, it's important that you make a copy to avoid an update conflict which you do by right-clicking the notebook and clicking the duplicate button. After doing so, you'll see a new notebook with the name followed by dash copy one, 
which you should then run. Now our code base is constantly being updated. So to ensure that you have the most up-to-date version of our Arc Analysis repo, run the git pool command in the directory. Now the Jupyter Notebooks have to be updated separately. When starting up the Docker image, run the start underscore docker.sh file, but pass the dash u flag to it. Note that you'll have to make a new copy of the updated notebooks to ensure you run them with the expected changes. And that about wraps it up. Thanks for listening to my presentation.